I'd like to talk to you about the biogas digester that is turning uh, regular pony manure into usable gas uh, whether it be for cooking or for heating of the home. Uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to collect the manure off of the ground and we will be using a special uh, rake, it's called a manure rake. It picks up the, uh, the, the manure balls and leaves the dirt and rocks behind. So as I fill up a wheelbarrow full, I'll be taking it over to the gas digester and I'll see you over there. Over at the BioGuide Digester, I've uh, brought over a wheelbarrow full of uh, pony manure. And as you can see, I have a surplus of manure there. So what we will be doing is we will be uh, checking out what you can see from the top. Most of this is underground. Uh, over here is the mixing basin. You see a wooden handle sticking out of the top there. Uh, there's a plug at the end of that handle, and I pull the plug and the water goes down into this big dome. Uh, it's about five feet deep, and it has a all cement and capped uh, dome. As you can see how I was uh, constructing it here, uh, cement walls, cement floor, then we put a dome on top, and then we uh, have a pipe going out. There's an overflow chamber, and there's a chamber top, and then we tarred the inside and outside of the dome to hold the gas, and uh, that's what we did to uh, hold air pressure or gas pressure. So over at the mixing basin, we have uh, basically this wooden stick there, so I don't have to stick my hand into the slurry when I want to pull the plug. When we fill it up, um, the excess after the main chamber of the digester is filled will flow into this excess chamber. And as you can see that there's a slurry there of a uh, mixture of water and manure there. And that's after it's been broken down, it goes into that chamber and it flows out that little canal there onto the outside dirt. And from there, when you get a pile there that's broken down, you can shovel that into your garden. So I'm going to get a hose and get some water into this mixing basin, as you can see. Turn it on there. And then I'll start shoveling the manure. The manure that I am using is fresh manure because the uh, old stuff that gets baked by the sun doesn't break down in the water. Uh, the sun kind of makes a hard coat on the outside and then the water can't penetrate the, uh, the uh, manure ball. So we use the fresh stuff, freshly uh, picked up. And uh, I put about three scoops in there. And then I grab a mixing rod here. Basically this is something that you can get at Home Depot. It's just a uh, drywall mixing for mixing mud and it uh, works very well breaking it down and I'll spend about a minute just uh, kind of pushing it around breaking down those balls and the more we break down now the, the less time it takes inside the chamber. Uh, we'll also want to make sure we don't have sticks in there and, and uh, straw as you can see some of that's in there so I pick it out once in a while. Now on a bigger scale you wouldn't need to do all this by hand you can automate everything having a disposal of some sort or mulcher even so as I uh, mix that up after about a minute and then what I'll do is I will pull that plug and the slurry will go down into the pit. Now the mixing basin is at a higher level so gravity will just take this down into that pit. And that uh, pipe that goes from the mixing basin into the pit there, into that uh, digester, uh, it goes in at the bottom of that digester pit. Okay, I think we've got it here. And next, what we'll do is we will pull that plug. So just grab that. The plug is a simple uh, plug you can get at Home Depot for black ABS pipe. And I just pull that, and down it goes. And it goes into there. Once it's done, I put the plug back in, ready for another one. I'd like to start a second round of uh, filling up this basin, just to show you what it's like when it fills up uh, at the other end, the overflow. So we're going to do a second uh, round here of filling it up. So I got the water on again, and I'm adding the manure once again. And uh, I'll just quickly go through the mixing again. We do the mixing. Same thing as before, and from there, 
I'm going to be uh, looking at it from the other end now. Here is where the overflow chamber is at the opposite end of this whole system. And when I pull that plug over there, take the hose out. Okay, I'm going to pull that plug. You'll see at the end, that little canal, you'll see the excess go out. See it pouring out there? That is the absolute overflow um, that's already been broken down and ready for the garden. There's no odor to it. It's ready to be used as good compost. Uh, you don't see a lot of clumps there. It is broken down, so there's a lot of water. It's kind of like a septic tank, how everything breaks down. Uh, so it just kind of comes out as a kind of a dirty water. Anyway, that's what we have on the opposite end. So looking at the dome, we got about two feet of a trapped gas at the top of that dome. And then at the top, you'll see there's a pipe here. I uh, did a pipe, and I ran that pipe to the house. And here's where we get the, the useful part of this thing, uh, gas to use at the house. So I'm over here at the base of the house where I have this uh, pipe. I have an extra T handle or T off there and that pipe goes all the way upstairs to where the kitchen is. So I run the pipe underneath the counter and as you can see under the counter here, the pipe's there. It's my beautiful wife. Then I uh, have a cutoff valve. Uh, there's I got uh, three total uh, of those. I've got a regulator to uh, back off some of that pressure so we can get that stove to work. And then I uh, made a bubbler and that bubbler is to keep uh, flashbacks from happening in case uh, your flame uh, goes back up the pipe you don't want it going all the way back up to the biogas digester blow that whole thing up so it'll stop here in the water so that's why we have that it's a safety precaution um, so over here I added a gas handle there to the stove disconnected the original propane on one of the burners and ran a separate line through the back of the stove and here I am lighting it by hand but I'm turning that gas on that special valve and as you see it lights up and we can cook with that so now we've turned uh, useless manure into good gas and now you can see the bubbler you can just see how much gas flow there is now uh, when I'm actually using the gas now when I turn the gas off you can see how low it goes it should actually totally stop I think I may still have a leak and then the only other modifications I wind up having to do is I had to change the uh, the orifice setup and uh, the airflow that goes around into the orifice area. So I made a little pipe to restrict some of the air. I drilled a couple holes, put a pipe in, and it's like a sleeve. I stuck that down into the uh, the range there. And then the other thing I did was had to change the orifice size to. Uh, work with the methane instead of propane and so that's what we did for the uh, cooking unit and that's it